I actually like Ryerson University. And I don't have a problem, honestly. No offense, but I don't have a problem with the new name. Oh, okay. But then. I didn't have any problem with this one. It's just worse because it's longer. And for example, look at that. It's beautiful. Ryerson University. R U. Yes. It's yes. gonna be T M U now. So it's longer. Not that cool, but still. They decided to be like that, so I don't think it's going to change our lives. Do you want my honest opinion? Uh, of course I do. I don't like it. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I bought a Ryerson sweater while I can. Everything's sold out. Yeah, I guess it's a collector's item now, eh? It is. You can sell it for like 200 bucks to somebody, and it was worth, what, 20 bucks back You're then? You're kidding. But no, we go to Ted Rogers, so we'll just say that we go there instead of saying Metropolitan. Uh, Obviously, you know all the controversy and everything, so it's glad to see like that they're making the changes. I'll tell my friends back home and something like that, they'll that, just laugh at oh, <laughs> What is this? Jeez, we're the laughing stock of the world. Because everyone who's doing something, they would always believe they're doing the right thing. Even Adolf Hitler, he thought he was doing the right thing when he did those. I'm not comparing those two, just to be clear. Thank God. I, I'm not comparing. I, it's just the first name that popped into my head. Okay, I'm not comparing them. David Menzies for Rebel News here in downtown Toronto. While I'm here at Ryerson University, oh, scratch that. You see, folks, just recently, Ryerson underwent a rebranding and a name change. Namely, it is now called Toronto Metropolitan University. Wow, it sounds about as bland as you could possibly get in terms of uh, naming a institution of uh, higher learning. Then again, what do I know? Uh, 30 odd years ago, they accepted me. This is my old uh, Ryerson class of 84 journalism jacket. I know it's a modern miracle. It still fits. Anyway, I got to say, um, the president and vice chancellor of this institution, Mohammed Lakami, he stated in a press release yesterday, I cannot think of a better name than Toronto Metropolitan University. Metropolitan is a reflection of who we have always been, an urban institution dedicated to excellence, innovation and inclusion and who we aim to be a place where we all feel welcome, seen, represented, and celebrated. And I gotta tell you folks, um, this is yet another name change because for the last several months, going back to last August, when they decapitated and tore down the statue of Egerton Ryerson, um, many of the students and faculty members were calling this institution University X. Which, when you think of it, is kind of cool. It's got a Marvel Comics vibe to it, doesn't it? Like Professor Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters. Don't know how many of those are on campus right now. And uh, But when you think of it, it's going to certainly be a money pit changing all the stationery, all the signage, all the domain names, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, when you think about it, why couldn't they come up with another name that fits into the initials of RU, um, how about um, rebranded Uhura? Uhura, by the way, is the Swahili name for freedom. I only know that because I used to watch Star Trek a lot. Um, other than that, um, Diversity Polytechnical Institute. How about Disney World North? How does that grab you? You know, Disney World, they banned ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I think that would go down really good here as well. In any event, like I said, what do I know? I'm just a Ryerson graduate from the dark ages of 1984. What a fitting date that is. Orwell only got the date wrong by about 30 years. Uh, so why don't we just ask some of the students and the faculty on campus what they think of this new whiz-bang name change. We just heard yesterday, really. Okay, um, yeah, they already took down some signs that said Ryerson. They could hardly wait. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I think it was a step in the right direction. I'm not too fond about the name per se. It sounds like a subway station, but I'll take it over <laughs> what could have been. I'll tell my friends back home and something like that. They'll that, just laugh at oh, <laughs> What is this? Jeez, we're the laughing stock of the world. I feel like it's a good start because the intention was really good behind it and it could be something great. Obviously, you know, all the controversy and everything. So it's glad to see like that they're making the changes. It's been a long time coming to change the name though. So yeah. it, it's, it's a great step for us and for a lot of folks who've been trying to, you know, 
um, push for the change. Do you want my honest opinion? Uh, of course I do. I don't like it. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I bought a Ryerson sweater while I can. Everything's sold out. Yeah, I guess it's a collector's item now, eh? It is. You can sell it for like 200 bucks to somebody, and it was worth, what, 20 bucks back You're then? You're kidding. But no, we go to Ted Rogers, so we'll just say that we go there instead of saying Metropolitan. Well, I actually like Ryerson University, and oh. I don't have a problem, honestly. No offense, <laughs> but I don't have a problem with the new name. Oh, okay. But then. I didn't have any problem with this one. It's just worse because it's longer and for example look at that it's beautiful Ryerson University are you yes. it's yes. gonna be TMU now so it's longer not that cool but still they decided to be like that so I don't think it's gonna change our lives I do like the new name no, no. <laughs> I oh, mean, we have a divergence of opinion here you don't like the new I, name I don't like the new name personally I feel like they could have taken more time to decide <laughs> on a better name but that's just I feel like at least this name I don't see it having to change in any future yes, years. Yeah. Like, at least this one, you know, I don't It'll think they'll change. be. You know what? I think you're onto something. I think this was purposeful, not naming the university after anybody, because yeah. what if in the decades ahead there's a skeleton in his or her closet? we got to go through another rebranding yeah, exercise. Yes, yeah. agreed. Yeah, you know. so this one's hopefully here to stay. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Even yeah. though you don't like it. <laughs> exactly. You know what? Yeah. We'll have to deal with it. I'm, I'm a bit surprised. I thought it would be something more related to the um, the issues with the indigenous people. I thought it'd be something like Mohawk University, so I was a bit shocked, but... Uh, I think there's already a Mohawk college, oh, though. Oh, well, that's what I thought. <laughs> something like that, though. I don't know, something in that kind of area. I know they had lots of options, I guess, to choose from, and they came up thinking this was the best one. The day the new news came out, and a lot of friends started making memes. Like, it's like a railway station. <laughs> instead of, they said, instead of Toronto Metropolitan University, you should make it Dundas or something like that. How do we know in the future some skeleton might come out of his or her closet and then we're back to a, re a rebranding again? Exactly. That's that's why they chose Toronto Metropolitan, I think. That's the safe choice, yeah. you know? We, what's the motto now? We strive for blindness? Apparently. <laughs> Doesn't exactly inspire confidence, does it? Well, as I said, it's a step in the right direction because it's no longer named Ryerson. So whatever they had to name it, they did. It took months. They spent money. And if it pleases the right people, that's that's all we need. Who do you think they were trying to please with the name change? Not please, but just showing respect to the land on which we abide on, which is the indigenous land, the Aboriginal land. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Okay. I per se don't really have an opinion on the name change. Like they could have put it to whatever they wanted and I would have just you know, attended the school like I did. <laughs> Knowing that, you know, the whole, the statue that we had before, yes. that was all tear down, graffitied, like clearly it did upset a community of people. So I feel like, yeah, if people are upset, then you should do something. Do you think it was a good idea to tear it down or? I think so. Oh, okay. I mean, if it made, if it made people upset and if there is controversy around it, then obviously I think it comes though with a balance. You can't just tear it down and just be like, Sweep it under the rug. But they did, and it's kind of against the law, too, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. But I do think also as the university, like, acknowledgement on, okay, yeah, this was the name of our school. Mm -hmm. And I think offering, you know, educational courses or they've provided us with information about the background on him and to educate ourselves so we know, okay, like, why was it changed? Why is it so important? And I think that's great. Okay. To be honest, back then when he did all those stuff, even the government, everyone thought that they were doing the right thing. Mm. So you cannot actually be always sure because everyone who's doing something, they would always believe they're doing the right thing. Even Adolf Hitler, he thought he was doing the right thing when he did those. I'm not comparing those two, just to be clear. Thank God. <laughs> I'm, I'm not comparing. I, it's just the first name that popped into my head. Okay, I'm not comparing them. Right. There's still like residential, not residential schools happening, but they're still tortured to indig indigenous people and they're still not doing anything about it. Whereas it's because it's Ryerson, he was the architecture of the school. Right. He was a nest, like we don't know what happened a couple decades ago or mm. centuries ago. And every person, each person that good and bad, so if he, uh, the Ryerson, uh, the guy, he did good deeds too. Yeah. Like he did a lot of good deeds too, but people don't count that. People only count the bad one. So they demanded for a change and everyone like a lot of people did. So they had to, like if mob demands it, yeah. you can't control them. Everyone has flaws and you, it's, I don't know exactly about the Ryerson person history, but the thing is that you don't know about whether uh, skeleton's real or not. Did he do that or not? Yeah. There's like, uh, there are some rumors, some, someone is saying something about, so what, what happens, like someone tells this person did this thing, 
to one or two person. For the fourth person, one thing adds extra. Because of the rumors, these things adds extra. And instead, like the Ryerson name has been from 70 to 80 years. So instead, they should have found that thing earlier or something like that. But like, uh, it, it's also a shame for the person. Like the person Ryerson, was he was like well recognized he was like a good man but now he's recognized as the who, who killed children and everything yeah. so it's bad name for him and his family too you know you raise a good point if they came up with another name that you know fell into the initials of ru they wouldn't have to change all this signage but i guess they don't really care about that they're just going to raise your tuition fees yeah i feel <laughs> <laughs> that's what most people are thinking hope okay. that's not the case okay but we don't have an option if they raise it okay, like then. like i'm entering my second year so i don't have an option if they change it i'll have to we'll all have to pay the increase one only and I understand for the last several months, it was being referred to by faculty and students, at least some of them, as simply University X. And, you know, that seems kind of cool to me in a way. It's like uh, <laughs> Professor Xavier's yeah, School for yeah, Gifted yeah, Youngsters. Like the, uh, <laughs> the, yeah, the X-Men. Yeah. They're a superhero yeah, or something, yeah. yeah. Are there any X-Men type on campus here, ma'am? I haven't seen any. Oh, you're looking at the two. Well, I was going to say, two. Actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, We all put that in our bios, our Instagram bios. We were X-University, and now we're all changed that again, so to TMU, I, so. I personally hated X-University. Oh, oh, okay. It was a great, like. Is it because there are no gifted youngsters on campus? campus here? <laughs> I mean, I am. No, I'm kidding. Oh, what's your superpower? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> I wish. Like Professor Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters yeah, from the Marvel? What do you think? <laughs> that sounds good, but literally everybody's still calling it Ryerson. Oh, okay then. People who come here are still calling it Ryerson. Are so. you a gifted youngster? Yes. What superpower do you have? Flying. Oh, jeez, I'd like to see that. <laughs> How about yourself, sir? <laughs> okay, I can read people's minds. Oh, really? Yeah, that would be cool. What right? am I thinking right now? Uh, you're thinking that this name is not good. Are you? You are the amazing Kreskin. <laughs> you really are a superhero. Now, here's the most important question. I graduated here in 1984. Yes, I see the jacket. You see? Yes, well, what do, like do I get it altered? Do I put TMU oh. on there instead of Ryerson, or do I keep this as vintage? I... <laughs> I mean, I still have, like, I have Ryerson merch, obviously, oh, okay, and then. I'm still going to keep it because I think, you know, like, as I get older and stuff, it's, like, still acknowledging and still that reminder that, you know, we can't just erase and forget about it. It's oh, okay. still a good reminder on, you know, there is people that kind of did some wrong things and have to be reminded of it, and it is vintage. I mean, when you went to yeah. school, like, you, you got a journalism job. Clearly, it's a good school for you, yeah. so obviously you still want to pay respect to what it got you right yeah, no, well said and uh, i mean as i understand it the ryerson university swag is going for big bucks on uh, exactly. ebay these oh, really? days that's what's oh, that's what another yeah. <laughs> wow maybe you could get some good money for that i didn't know that <laughs> well i think you're going to need it because they're, the, they're going to probably raise your tuition to pay for all these new oh, signs they're putting we were just, um, talking, we were just about talking about that, about that. <laughs> like we were like oh maybe they should have kept it with something with an r yeah okay. i mean you got all so, the r's everywhere yeah, but right. <laughs> <laughs> and get this, folks, the authors then go on to state the following, quote, The flame having caught, Ryerson University's Aboriginal Education Council issued a paper in 2010 declaring that Dr. Ryerson had played a defining role in establishing residential schools. The document contained misspelled names and statements that were not backed up by references. Based on limited research, it included mere material from a discredited, defrocked United Church minister and was not subject to peer review, nor was it circulated outside a small circle of administrators. Nevertheless, Ryerson University soon inserted a statement on its website asserting that Egerton Ryerson had indeed played a nefarious role in indigenous education, end quote. So I guess in the final analysis, folks, it's this. Was this really a name change that had to happen or was this the administration bending the knee to the politically correct, woke, cancel culture mob? I think it was the latter. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, before you know it, Mother's Day is going to be here. You don't want a stiff dear old mom, do you? Well, please go to rebelnewsstore.com. That's rebelnewsstore.com 
We have wonderful new merchandise, new caps, new t-shirts, you name it. Treat dear old mom with the respect she deserves by getting her some Rebel New swag. And hey, how about this? If you type in promotion code MUM25, you'll get a 25% discount on your second item. Happy Mother's Day.